How to build a windsock for your camera. If you've got a video camera like this that has an external microphone or indeed any microphone system you're using, if there's a lot of wind out there you're going to get a, a lot of wind noise on a windy day. When you live in a place like I do it's always windy. This one does come with a kind of a sock, it's sponge and it fits on there like that and that can help but it's not enough. To save myself money, what we're going to do is we're going to make one of these. It's made out of sponge rubber. Um, it's probably going to cost you about, oh, a dollar. That's like 75 pence English. The idea is we've made a pocket and it slips over the top of the existing one, like so, to get us some extra protection against the wind. It looks a bit crazy, but they do work. I've done them before, so uh, I'll show you how we make it. What we're using is sponge rubber. It's uh, normal sponge rubber. You can buy it in hobbyist shops or places that do uh, soft furnishings for making cushions and things. What you need to do is get your measurements first of all. Here we go with um, this little fellow here. That's the original one. What we're going to do is we're going to put it on the foam, like so. Basically, and wrap the foam around it and uh, we get our measurements from that. Um, leave a little bit on the end, that's going to be for the pocket right at the end there. It's going to wrap around the end of the microphone. We've got our square. The next thing you need is a needle. I'm using some sailing thread for fixing sails. It's nice and strong. If not, get yourself a nice coarse thread of some kind. You don't need to double it up. Get it through the needle. I don't know if you can see that. It's very small. Put a knot on the end so it doesn't pull through. But on the far end, also put a knot and leave a little loop like that. I don't know if you can see that little loop there. I'm going to fold it in two, get the two matching ends together, nice and flush there, and we're going to go. Be careful you don't stick your finger. You'll have to take it back a little bit because otherwise it will rip through the foam. Bring the thread all the way through, like so. And then when you get to this, you've got your loop. You can then put your needle through that and that actually will tie that end off like so. Make sure you pull it tight each time. Okay, so you do all that down the side and on the end as well. And there you go, that's the finished project. Uh, we've got the big one and I put the little one on the inside and I'm going to insert my original windsock inside that. The reason for having several layers, it's, it's like trapping heat. The more layers you have of clothing the better it can be uh, to keep you warm. It's the same with this. This acts as baffles, multi-baffles for the wind. It'll stop the wind getting through. It's cheap, it doesn't look great, but as I said it's, you know, it's just cheap. <laughs> Make sure that you can't see it through the lens, that's the other thing. So there you go, one cheap and nasty but very effective baffle thing. Mm -hmm.